Where did I take you from? Pickles, did you enjoy the pool today? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And did you enjoy the drive up? No. No, you didn't, did you? No, no it was a long drive. 15 hours. <coughs> it's a long drive. We are all exhausted. Yes. Me included. I look like death warmed up, no doubt, but I am so tired. But we're here. Ready for a day at the pool tomorrow. Yes, exactly. We're on a wind down time now for the day at the pool. And the house have you been at the pool already, haven't you? Yeah. You've done the slides? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Which slide was the best slide? Uh, that one. Which is what one? The straight one or the curly one? The one that curly one. The curly one or the other one? Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Probably wrong. So, yeah. the problem with France though is the fact that you both have to wear speed boots. Don't you? You have to wear speedos. You do have to wear speedos. Yeah. I'm in my pants. Yeah, Harrison's got his on. Pickle's got his on. Steve tried to buy some nice floral ones, but they didn't have them in his size. No, they, they don't do extra small. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying a word for that one. Extra large. That could go completely the wrong way. <laughs> extra, extra large. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, yes, they were extra, extra large. See, I was going to name that something completely different. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, they didn't unfortunately make the floral ones in his size, so we got the uh, next size up. Another one. Boring black ones. Yeah, well, we got slide. the temper up in a couple of hours, didn't we? Yeah, temper done quick, actually. Yeah, that was easy enough. Yeah. So we were happy with that. Yeah, temper's good. Not completely sorted, but stop banging. Stop yeah. banging. Temper sorted. Um, nice and easy. Bed is up. I am ready to go and get in it now. Yeah. And um, yeah. Well, what good. did we think about Irish fairies? Irish fairies were amazing. I thought they were brilliant. I thought the, the boat itself was beautiful. You the are service was slick, there was just absolutely nothing I was thinking about. <laughs> nothing at all. Let me see. Let what do you think? Did you complain about those fairies? You liked them, didn't you? Yeah. You thought they were good. It's like a cruise, not a ferry. It was like a cruise, not a ferry, right? What do you, what do you make you think? I enjoyed that actually, I actually managed to doze off in there. Yeah, there. So good, like, that was you? quite good, so that was nice, yeah, I, I like that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we did quite well on the driving coming down as well, didn't we? I think we did, did quite well sharing that out, yeah. dozing and <coughs> driving and things. So. Yeah, we did, we shared it out quite easily to be honest. Every time one of us struggled, then the other person took over, so quite good. Exactly. So, yeah. And this one had a nice sleep for six hours. Okay. Yes, a good six hours kip. With two pillows, this is like the princess and the pea. It was yeah. six hours. It was a, in, in total, you slept for about six hours. I must admit, I did not realise the amount of treats he had until I got in the back of the car. Yeah. yeah there's lots of chocolate which was congealed and melted. Uh, I don't think he ate any of that. No, that is fair. It is there, but you I didn't had, eat it. I had crackers. I yeah. had crackers. You had crackers and you had biscuits? Did you have pilgrims? Oh. I, I didn't didn't all I had was crackers and um, gingerbread men. Yes. Crackers, crackers, gingerbread man, and. Uh, Who hoops? Uh, French fries. Oh, yeah, chips sticks. Chips sticks. What about uh, popcorn? No. No, no popcorn. Those were the only things I had. Oh, there you go, see. Yeah. So you and had actually more than. Oh, we had much more than you, yeah. I knew we did, though. Yeah. But then we were driving, you knew you were sleeping, so, you know. <coughs> anyway. So there we go. We'll catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. So everybody enjoying their first full day yes. at the campsite? Yes. Good. Loving a good night's sleep. Yeah. Bacon, bacon baguettes. Bacon baguettes. Right. Yeah. Cooked on the old Kadak. Harrison had a good night's sleep, didn't you, Harrison? You slept very well last night. It's a real baguette. It is indeed. Pickle slept very well last night. Nice. Pickle, you slept very well last night as well, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, good. Real baguette. 
especially after the long journey yesterday. Pickle did very well. So we are playing bingo. Jenny's trying to remember French. And Pickle is trying to get it right. 50. Oh, 50. Okay, I've got to put 50 down there. There we go. 50 is on. 44. 44. Okay. 31, quickly, Harris. 31, there. 31. Ah. 31. Oh, so I have to leave you now because Jenny is very, very stressed. We thought we'd be kayaking. So we thought we'd be kayaking this morning. So pickle water trainers, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go paddling instead. We're going kayaking tomorrow. And, uh, underwater. What? My shoes. They are soaking underwater. Look at your legs. You're well under now. So he's got his trainers on at the moment. But we're looking at the fish. I don't know if you can see. There's loads of fish. Oh, typical. I can't find them now. They were here a minute ago. Oh, there you go. Can you see the fishes around? I'm hoping you can see them. There's loads of them. They're swimming around. Tiny little fish. It's cool. Um, but yeah, so we're just down on the river at Castle now. And we're going to do a kayak trip tomorrow for five kilometres and um, see some of the sites, the local sites, for an hour. That'd be cool. And then we've got the, the castle in the background. And uh, yeah, the water is quite cold, but then once you get in and you stay for a little while, it's quite nice. I mean, it's supposed to be 100 degrees today, so it's quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Is that good, Harrison? <laughs> hey, pickle pants. What? Big fish. Mummy's not coming that far. And there we go. Okay, so the adventure boys have gone over to the other side. Apparently it's quite shallow, but I have no desire to get my legs in the water that far at the moment. It's quite cold. So, uh, yeah. Pickle is... Pickle is, is getting very wet. <laughs> and try to make his way over. <laughs> Daddy is all way over there ready. So they're having fun in the water. <laughs> Okay, so we are in a kayak, leaving Castle now towards uh, Milond, and we're going past the Castle now Castle. And the boys at the moment are in charge of steering, but the water is taking us like where we need to go. Generally, we don't really need to do a lot of work for this. It's quite good. So uh, 
You having a good time, boys? Yeah. It's very peaceful, isn't it? Very. Very, very peaceful. So, yeah. Oh, other side, Harrison, you're turning us around. Oh. That's it. Good boy. Okay. So, yeah, so we're having a lovely time. I'll try and pick you up again in a minute. Do some more filming as we go down, but it's absolutely stunning. Woo! That moved a bit. <laughs> we're wobbling a bit. Every time Steve pushes it, he's got such power to it that he uh, he pushes it quite hard and I wobble. So, ah, it's good. Let's keep going. Okay, so we are a little bit further downstream now. Can you remember what castle that was, Harrison? Was that Bainac? Yeah, something like that, we think, isn't it? So the castle up ahead and we're going towards it nice and slowly. We're going in the direction of the river, thank God, so it's not too much hard work, although it's definitely work on my arms more than I thought it would. Um, yeah, just having a nice little right side, Steve, right side, right side, right side. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to paddling, I think, because um, I think it takes two of us. Yeah, well, we're going right at the moment. We're going right, literally. And the pickle has got this paddling malarkey really well. He's never done it before and he's doing it extremely well right now. He's taken over Mummy's paddle. Mummy's doing the direction, so I'm going to get back to it very soon. But I just wanted to uh, show the pickle how well he's doing. I think he's doing fantastically well. There we go. I swear, I don't know where you're looking to see these fishes, but we can't. Yeah, that's it. We haven't. So the boys are paddling still. We've now gone past a beautiful little village with the castle on the hill. I hope that's filmed all right, but I'm holding on to my phone for dear life. And now we are just going into a nice foresty area. And uh, a bit rough up ahead. A bit rough up ahead, is it? So, so yes, yeah, so we'll see what we get a little further on down the river. Okay, so we are coming up to our final stop at um, Milond and um, got pull over on the beach. It's been a very lovely little canoe ride. Um, lots of wildlife, dragonflies, ducks. Steve's seen fish, although we haven't seen them because probably because we were at the back. But, um, but no, it's been a lovely little, little trip out. Perfect sort of time for us. An hour's um, canoe ride was perfect for us. Any more than that, I think we'd have struggled. So um, yeah, it's been lovely. Highly recommend. So the pickle has got an ice cream and it is all over his schnoz. Mm. <laughs> He's got a chocolate moustache. He's just like covered. It's chocolate and Kit Kat ice cream. So pickle, did you have a good day? A good water canoe ride. Yeah. Yeah. Stephen. Did you have a good canoe ride? Yeah, I love that. That was good. Yeah, that was really good. I really enjoyed it as well. It was um, it was really relaxing. And yeah, we did do a bit of work, but actually not too much that you like in agony. We only did the five kilometres. If we'd done any more than that, we might have struggled more. But yeah, it was good. And we saw lots of animals, didn't we, Pickle? Mm. What did you see? A uh, dragonfly, uh, a frog, and some other weed. Ducks, he saw ducks. Ducks! So, a look canard. We saw ducks. In fact, we saw a family of ducks all going down the river together, which is lovely. So, yeah, all in all, a very lovely morning. We are just waiting now for our coach to arrive to take us back to the start point. And uh, we'll have a nice afternoon by the pool, I think. Is that right, Pickle? Going down the slides? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might have to clean your face up before you do that then. <laughs> I'm just going to zoom in, look. Look at that face. Chocolatey goodness. Covered. Okay, so tonight is pool party night and there is a fantastic band playing. This is the start of the thing. They've just done a massive intro, which was amazing. And uh, they're obviously doing a cover of Where the Streets Have No Name, which is fantastic. Really good.
at Castle uh, New Castell. Um, Castle Now Castell uh, Chateau. And it is absolutely stunning from at the top here. This is the view from the top of the castle. Now we've got a bit more to go, have we? That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's where we did our boat trip. The town Back. looks so tiny. You can see. Down there, that's where we got the boats from. Just down there, isn't it? Behind that bridge. So we're loving the, the wildlife in France. We've been spotting lizards. I'm assuming they're lizards. Anyone wants to correct me, that's perfectly fine. We spotted this little boy sitting on the rocks, just hiding away from everyone else. He's very tiny, probably only about five, six, well, five inches long, maybe that, if that. He's very cute. This is the adventure playground, <laughs> um, located just over the road from the holiday park but it is part of the holiday park. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that one. Yeah, do, that. do you see what I mean now? Well, I've got bad, I've got the worst shoes possible for it, Harrison, as well. Well, the, you haven't done these shoelaces up very well. There's Mummy in the tube thing. Just bashed her head. You probably heard it on the video. Yeah. Try and turn your feet out, Harrison, rather than in. That's it, yep. Yeah, that works. Oh, nearly. Get in there, keep going. You are very close now. Hey, well uh, this is our pitch number 105. It's uh, all the pictures are quite well defined and uh, surrounded by trees and things, so you get a little bit of privacy. Enough space in there to park your car. There's Jen coughing away. She's had a bit of a cough this week. Water point right close by. Then actually for us it's nice and easy because we can just walk up through here and there is the washing up station. And 
toilet's right next to it. So you have both showers, WCs, and hand wash basins in there. It always seems to be enough. I've never had to queue for anything. Uh, Jenny's had to do a bit of queuing for some. Uh, but generally, it's been okay. This is the bar area. This is like the heart of the pub, really, of the, of the place. So you've got the pool just over there, and you can see the slides. Um, and then, yeah, you've got the shop just over there. It's open most of the day. And a small snack bar just in there. Things like chips and pizzas. Obviously, this is also a restaurant as well, the bar. Um, so I can get a decent picture of the slides. There we go. So the slides are pretty cool. Three slides in a row. Two to race down and one sort of a, a swirly one. So the entrance into and out of the park is uh, by security gates. Um, and a security pin pad that you put the number on in order to get into the park. And then this is reception area just here. Um, very good reception, you all speak English in there. Um, yeah, you know, any questions we had they were happy to answer. Very friendly. This is the entrance into the Lou Castell. The road up here is quite narrow and there are passing places. We do have about a mile and a half of quite narrow roads. So if you've got a caravan and things you need to be aware of that. So this is the play area. Um, that's for the sort of kiddies play park area that's there. And then we also have the um, basketball pitch just here. We were behind we were in the pitch right behind the um, uh, basketball netting and football pitch there. And we had a few balls come over and quite a few balls hit the car as well. So we ended up moving from there. There is somebody else sitting there now. But yeah, we've had a couple of people we've seen come and go for quite quickly when they've been put into that spot. Um, then there's also a trampoline area here um, and a climbing frame, climbing net. And a zip wire too. Okay, so while we're here, I thought I'd do a quick review of um, Camping Lou Castel in uh, Castle Now, Le Chapelle in the Dordogne. Um, the first thing I've got to say is that the staff here are so helpful. Now, we are, I think, the only English on site this week and as such they've all done their best to try and help us when I speak my pretty poor French. I've tried, I really have tried and I've been learning and, and everything else this week so I've really been trying to do it but when I don't they will always do their best to try and help muddle through and um, do what they can for you and if, if anything is wrong they will get, bend over backwards to help you. So for example we were on pitch 92 for the first half of the week. Oh, sorry. We were on pitch 92 for the first half of the week. And unfortunately it um, it backs on to the or side sides on to the basketball court and it was stressing Steve out quite a lot. And it got to the point where a basketball came over. It had hit our car many times but it came over and it actually hit me while I was sat in the chair. So I went to reception and I said to the lady, look, I don't want to complain, but if I can give you some feedback in the winter when you do your works, which no doubt you will do, I think you need to put a higher fence there because I've just been hit by a football. And she was absolutely lovely. The girl on reception, I'm not entirely sure of her name, I think it is Una, but she is just the loveliest. Her English is immaculate. Um, and she was just like no 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 you can complain it's quite fine i understand you know you've been hit by football i'm like it's fine it's one of those things kids are playing and that's fine but we're quite stressed is there any chance we could move pitch so hottest day of the uh, the week so far and we decided to move pitch which was not fun but we've done that and we've been given a lovely pitch all the pitches are really nice themselves they're great um they're very 
secluded, they're surrounded by trees. I mean, I'm sitting on the pitch now, and as you can see, you know, there's trees all around us. It is gorgeous. Um, but you can hear people around, it's fine, that's not a problem. And you can even see people around, but when you've got balls flying at you, it's not quite so much fun. So I can't complain at the staff. Um, and the, the entertainment staff, the entertainment, I mean, last night's band was amazing. They were so, so, so good, so much fun. We weren't going to stay up all night, but we did end up staying there to watch the whole thing, and they were fantastic. Um, Pickle loved the pool party. Um, you know, swimming in the pool at night. Mummy, this is amazing. This is amazing. You can't see where you're going. It's great. It's like, yeah, great. Love them. We're only pleased for you. Um, so we can't fault the staff. We can't fault the place. Our only problem is that for us, because we are, you know, a single child family, and there's no other children that speak English. Pickle is a little bit lonely this week, so next year we will revise our plans and we will um, pick somewhere that has more English people. But I can't complain. I think it's been a great campsite and uh, I think the staff here are fantastic. Um, and the, the toilets are very clean, everything else, everything is great. So, anyway.